Hey guys, this is Torrent. Today we've got some interesting stuff in here. We've got a huge slew of, is that the right word? Slew? I think so. Uh, upgrades or changes to the upcoming storylines. Uh, the Cabal one had a whole bunch of text changes, as well as our first look at what is going to be happening for the sixth anniversary. You know, Marvel Strike Force sixth anniversary is in about a month-ish. So we're gonna see some very interesting stuff there. So our first one here is the Cabal got a whole bunch of changes. So um, they, you know, I think they changed it mostly so that it fit more into Norman Osborn's kind of voice. So like, for example, when he goes to uh, Namor for the first time, he's like, you know, more polite and more kind of, you know, uh, on his knees for Namor as Namor expects for people to when they go see him. Uh, we've got, you know, stuff about, you know, talking about Cabal in here, talking about like, you know, Doom's more ag aggressive in it. Um, it also says this, and as director of Blank and Hammer, so I don't know why it says Blank and Hammer. I assume it's meant to say, say like Shield and Hammer, but technically at the time the Cabal was around, I think Shield had been shut down or or he was running both at the same time. So it's missing what says there. Um, and yeah, just overall kind of changing up the storyline. This one here is interesting because they changed uh, a huge amount here. So previously it had, you know, uh, talking about uh, when when basically Doom's betraying them and stuff, but Doom tries to turn them more against Namor. Um, and then, you know, down here, we've got like the, the final kind of talk here with Doom being like, we're not going to just take over... Um, we're not going to just take over the world. I want to take over everything. And then the rest are like... Yeah, no, Doom, you're not doing that. We're going to take over the world and we're going to just, be, like, divide it between all of us. So, yeah, basically everything's exactly the same, except it's more clear that Doom isn't going to be a part of the Cabal. Um, basically, that's it. <laughs> and then they also changed the part here where they said about, you know, capping the membership of the Cabal. Instead, they say, let this be the whole of the Cabal instead of let us cap the membership of the cabal as it stands so yeah i think it's pretty clear that you know it's it's going to be soon um cabal is going to be soon based upon this All right next part here is the sixth year anniversary now originally i thought this was saying you know Six Young Avengers or something like that, but no, it's a six year anniversary uh, storyline and it's got an actual ECM. So ECM is very different to SSE. SSE is the showcases. ECM is an actual event campaign. Um, I can't remember exactly what the last M stands for event campaign, something or rather. Um, so this storyline is going to be focused around Deadpool. So Deadpool is like 99% going to get this year's anniversary skin. Um, we know that, you know, previously we've had Fury get one. We had Shield Medic got one as well. And we had Kestrel get one. So Deadpool, they're kind of, you know, hinting towards Deadpool getting one here. Um, basically it, it's, Time travel combined with um, combined with alternate worlds. So there's like a million different Deadpools that you got to defeat. You work with Kestrel to start with, then you work with Spider Weaver, then you work with um, Val, and you work with um, Deathpool in the middle of there somewhere. Um, so a lot of kind of you know stuff. We go to an alternate world where direct where Deadpool is the director of um of shield um or you know time travel i can't i can't figure out exactly if it's they go to an alternate world or he goes back i think he goes back changes something and then it ends up that he's the director of shield in the future um all, all a whole bunch of not really progressing the storyline, kind of, you know, side quest kind of stuff where, you know, we're working and we're trying to prevent Deadpool from time traveling and, you know, screwing up the timeline, which, you know, is essentially the end of Deadpool 2. Sorry if you get spoiled for that. The movie's been out for ages, so I don't care. Um, yeah, so it's very interesting. Uh, it, it's going to be for the six year anniversary. They're p very, very focused on Deadpool and everything, which I guess makes sense. We've got like this, I think the focus on Deadpool is going to be pretty big this year with the Deadpool movie coming out, being the only movie coming out from the MCU this year, as well as, you know, we've already know that the Merc for Money team is coming out. 
we'll see as to how all that goes. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think. I hope you guys had a wonderful day and goodbye.